Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. An in-state battle for control in the desert. You are looking at both teams getting set for the battle for the Territorial Cup. Arizona and Arizona State just about to kick off. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Arizona State has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. Fielded at the four. Across the 30. Tackle at the 33. Getting ready to take the field in their final home game in their career. And the final games always have an extra emotional element in them. We'll see if they can channel that emotion and turn it into a victory. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And they got him for a loss. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. Second and 14. Ball in the 29. Tackled in the open field. Stratton gains around three yards on the option play. That makes it third and eleven. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And down he goes at the 33-yard line. They get only a yard from the pass play. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. Wilson, the return man. Arizona State's coaching staff, the fans, I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play, and here he is. Well, he's a star quarterback. He seems to bring everything to the table. The crowd, I think, senses he's ready to have a big day. And when your star quarterback feels good at playing at home and he gets off to a good start, some big things can happen for this offense. He's scrambling. Tackle made at about the 43-yard line. down at the 42 yard line there was just no daylight on that play and the defensive lineman was the reason well that's one way to get involved in the game great stop in the backfield third down now and they need to get it out to midfield five wide he fires this one they looked a little sluggish on that series i'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back he fields a punt at the 20. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. 
don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Quick throw. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. God awaits the snap. Wilson fields it for 30. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Throws complete and he's hit right away. his way to about the 48. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And he's taken down around the 40-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. the 17-yard line. That'll bring up second and 12. We've played one. Now this one's scoreless. to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Three down, three down. Mike Schick, 33. 33. 
He's got an opening. The five makes it to the five. Splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10-play, 65-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drop. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He'll return it from the three. Oh, man, he took him down hard. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Just throws this one away. From their own 27 yard line, second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Wide open, incomplete. You wonder now if this guy will get alligator arms the next time the ball comes his way. It's been known to happen. He's to the 40. Complete. He's got room. And he's shoved out of bounds at about the 45. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. Field. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Rose, incomplete, knocked away. That's just a great play to separate the ball from the receiver. He'll be throwing that hit tomorrow. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much and that can cause mistakes. Arizona State up seven points. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a good deal. That brings him second and five. Gets it out to about the 47 yard line. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Up the middle for a nice game. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it second and six. After a decent run up the gut. That'll bring up third and two. Caught out of the open. 
He goes out of bounds at the 43. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. I'm a huge fan of the play-action pass in college football because the play-action, it really puts a lot of pressure on a defense. The defense gets caught up and concerned about the running game, and it puts them out of position, and it makes the throwing lanes for the quarterback and the windows that he's trying to find much easier to find for a quarterback and the receivers to pick up big yards like we just saw there. He decides to keep it and picks up seven yards. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he hits him hard at the 46-yard line. Call the game of 16 yards. That makes it first and 10. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. And down he goes at the 37. That's a deal of nine. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. Runs outside for a nice game. That's a gain of four on the play. First down. Larry, Larry. 40's a mark, 40's a mark. Come on. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. He has to make better decisions than that. He should have known that there was no room to squeeze that ball in there. We talked about this sophomore before the game, and he sure can play, I'll tell you that. We've got a first and 10, all on their own 26. Arizona State is up a score. out to his receiver and they push him out at about the 49 it's first and ten ball on the 49 Just throws this one away. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike Sick, 33. 33. I don't even know why this team showed up. Fires that quickly to the tailback. Tackle made at the 37 yard line. hit immediately. The Sun Devils will use their first time out of the half. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. The Sun Devils call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards.
And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. Arizona State is up by a touchdown. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. Fires incomplete. This is the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and 10. Arizona State is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks away, and it's good. Matthews gets set to kick this one away. Sanders fields it at the 7. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 32-yard line. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the field. Quick pass. Knocked out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 34. Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. Brings up fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. And he just got drilled. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. He chucks it downfield. Doesn't get there. Don't go anywhere, folks. It looks like we might have a pretty good game on our hands after all. 10-0, Sun Devils. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Neither team has allowed a sack in this game. While a lot of fans, and look, we've been guilty of it in here sometimes. We watch games from around the country. Your eye sort of follows the ball. You want to see what happens. But then there's the game inside the game. What's it like? in the trenches, offensive line versus defensive line, particularly when one side's winning every time, in this case, the offensive line. Well, it's always tough to judge because you could be doing your job just fine, but because the secondary doesn't play well, maybe it's just you're doing your job, but the secondary's not, and you look really bad on the same token. But, you know, it's it's the most physical spot on the field. You, got, you get your hands on those big, fat guys every single time, and you got to shed them, and you got to push them back, and... You exert a lot of force and a lot of energy, and it's not, on defense, you just try to see ball, get ball. You know, offensive, those offensive linemen, they got a little bit more brains to them. They, they know where they're going, they know where the play is, they know the snap count, it's a little bit easier for them. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Yeah. 
The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28. They go with the run. Got some open field. He gets hit out of bounds at the 47. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Now it's second and long after the penalty. Steps out of bounds at about the 35. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Harum is back to receive. Harum takes it to 36. They'll bring him down at the 47-yard line. He showed a good burst there. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. That makes it second and eight. And he's taken down at the 39. That makes it first and 10. Quick throw to the tight end. That's a good reception. That's a good one on the play. That makes it second and eight. Lost the pass. Hey, go on, Mike 40, Mike 40. He zips it. A junior makes the catch. They'll bring him down around the one-yard line. Johnson to the tackle at the one-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Wildcats. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. He makes the PAT. High. Has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. And he'll return this one from the seventh. And he's taken down at the 31. The Wildcats have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Arizona State is up by three. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. Six. 
Throws complete, and he's got space to work. He's tackled around the 46-yard line. down and they need to get it inside the 44. And they make the stop at the 41 yard line. They had a long, long way to go and the receiver managed to just get enough to pick up the first down. run here right side Arizona State has a three-point lead and he's immediately tackled that one goes for good yardage and a first down yeah that's just a nice gain on second down got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Here's the 11th play of the drive. The Sun Devil tight end down there on the sideline, and he's up and moving around. It looks like he's going to see some more action before this game's over. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. Touchdown, Sun Devils! Sanders from the eight. Tackle at the 26-yard line. Arizona State's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a, a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. As you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Hill on the handoff. And they get nice yardage on that run. Game of six on the play. That'll bring up third and four. So with one quarter remaining, Arizona State leads 17-7. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. 
We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. to punt. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. to go long and does. example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. And he converts the extra point. A quick two-play, 49-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. So our score, 24-7. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 27-yard line. The Sun Devils have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Here we go. Black on. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own twenty-seven. Nearly intercepted. An empty backfield with five wide receivers. Got a man, watch out here. And down he goes around the 35 yard line. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. throw out to the receiver and he's tackled at the 44 yard line that makes it first and ten caught out in the open he's pushed out of bounds right around the 44 yard line first down in your face. 45, 46. Looks to his receiver, first down. Tackle made at about the 29-yard line. Here's the true test of a quarterback at any level. Can they make a good throw under pressure when one or two or three guys are coming right at him? I think this young passer has proven that, yes, he can. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's taken down around the 15-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Pushed 
pulls it in, and he's in the open field. What a play, and that is first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Arizona. He hits the PAT. Brought down at the 43. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. Well, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He makes his way to about the 32. From the 32-yard line, first down. Smith gets the carry. They'll drop in for a loss. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. Nice run there. Arizona's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the 28-yard line, third down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. He'll bring him down at the one-yard line. That brings him second and goal. bring him down in the backfield. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Big play here for both teams. It's third and goal from the two. with the extra point. A nice eight play, 43-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. Matthews looks ready to kick this one off. From the seven. Gets out to about the 31. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. Under a minute left in the game. He goes downtown. Nice grab on the play. He's hit and taken down. Check 99. Check 99. 
The spike will stop the clock. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. And he stops the clock with a spike. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. That is textbook pass defense. As soon as the ball hit the receiver's hands, he was all over him. Gets it. He's in space. He's out of bounds at the 13. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Spikes the ball. From the three yard line, second down. Touchdown, Wildcats. Make it a triple dip, folks. If I were the head coach of this football team, I would give him the ball at least 30 times a game. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine-play, 69-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. The score now, 31-21. They'll bring him down at the 44. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. This one's in the books. Sun Devils come out on top, 31-21. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? Arizona State comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.